great to know that here's two souls that are in a good safe place. My name's Sean Burke. I live here in Cheshire, in the UK, and uh, I'm a small business owner and um, water chemist. And I, for some time now, have uh, been a keen supporter of uh, Animal SOS Sri Lanka. My recent visit uh, in December last year, December 18, I, um, I arrived there and, and just uh, shortly, uh, shortly before I arrived there, within a couple of days, Cindy here uh, had been taken in and she was in a cage and what you see today is very different to the Cindy you, you, I saw on that day and she was um, a lot younger because she is actually only a pup, she was perhaps um, about eight, nine months old but she was filled with terrible wounds, some of them right down to the bone, pressure wounds, all different types of wounds on her. She was dehydrated, malnourished. She was only about 15 kilogram in weight. And as you can see, a Great Dane needs to be around about 40, 45 kilograms. And uh, I was told that she was within hours of actually dying, that that's how bad she was. So whilst I was doing my thing there, I, I'd visit her regularly throughout the day, help hydrate her, help with her drip. Uh, help feed her and uh, and we grew a bit of a bond and I, and I thought to myself I wasn't sure if she was going to make it and neither did anybody else there they said the chances were relatively slim and I thought to myself well if she does make it she she deserves a good, deserves a pretty good um, a good continuance in life there so I thought I would uh, I'd take her and I wasn't going to walk away from her and um, she met this little boyfriend of hers here who was um, hit by a car him and his and the rest of his, 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 um, his little pack, but when he was a puppy, maybe only a few weeks old, one or two months old maybe, and he was paralyzed. They brought them together, they healed together in the same room, became inseparable, and um, they told me at the sanctuary that if I was gonna take uh, Cindy, then I'm gonna have to take Eddie as well. We flew them over, and I picked them up at the Heathrow uh, quarantine centre, put them in the back of my car and drove them all the way back up here, four or five hour drive to, to Cheshire. If, as you can see they've uh, fitted in very well. Um, she is a big girl, she's a big dog, um, she eats huge amounts, she's uh, got a fantastic appetite and um, she's um, pretty untrainable right now, I'm really struggling with that but she's a very affectionate, very trusting which is surprising after what she's been through. Uh, a very gentle, affectionate dog. Um, and uh, she's just a, a, just a pleasure to be with. And I'm, and I'm really happy that uh, you know, I did what I, I needed to do and, and hopefully other people can see that that cause out there, that, that, that charity really does need uh, whatever assistance you can give it because it is a genuinely good group of people that do genuine work.